Hello YouTube, this is KF5PBR and uh, I'm just going to have a quick video of the uh, new radio I got. It's the Baofeng UV5R and it's a Chinese radio and um, I got it for $72 shipped um, which is a really good deal. It's a, a dual bander. It has 2 meters and 70 centimeters and uh, I'll just go over the basic controls and then uh, I'll uh, show some receiving. Uh, there weren't very many videos on this radio that actually showed operation. So um, I'll get to show you how good the receiver is. Um, it's actually really good. Um, it's DSP controlled, so um, a lot of uh, new, newer technology in this, in this radio. Uh, so basically, uh, you have a uh, standard keypad you know, to type in uh, your uh, channels or uh, you know your frequency and um, you have a band switch right here and you also have an AB switch and you'll have a VFO memory switch to switch between VFO and memory modes uh, you have a monitor uh, slash flashlight switch um, you have a call button which you can use to turn on the FM radio and I'll show the push talk Okay, uh, and then on this side we have our speaker microphone connections, um, and on the back you can see the battery, and one thing about this radio is that it has a really huge battery, uh, it's actually 1800 milliamp hours, um, which is one of the biggest batteries I've seen in a handheld radio, and um, so that is also another really nice feature about it, and i uh, also talk about the antenna because the antenna connector on this radio is a little different than a normal HT in that your antenna will need a female connector because the, uh, the radio actually uses a male connector if you can see it doesn't stick out at all so the antenna screws into the radio um, so basically you either need an adapter because this is a, an aftermarket antenna this is the MFGA 1717S antenna, dual band, uh, quarter wave on 2 meters, half wave on 70 centimeters. Um, and I believe Diamond also makes an antenna with the female connector, and I think Comet also makes one with the female connector. Uh, so there's a few options. And, uh, okay, well, I'll get into the operation right now. And uh, we'll just uh, listen in on a couple of local repeaters. I'm in the Dallas area, so uh, one is uh, on top of the... This one will be on top of uh, the tallest building in uh, Dallas, in downtown Dallas. So uh, we'll see what the reception's like. Places. Does, uh, does Link have something to do with Polycom also? Or just, I just thought it was Microsoft. Microsoft branded deal, but the hardware that they're using for the uh, the devices, like your phone devices, are uh, Polycom units with a uh, Microsoft sticker stuck on them. I didn't know that. So Polycom stuff. And this one will be. Uh, let me see here if I can get to. This one's another local repeater in Mesquite, Texas. You put those kittens in. And until I get a little bit older, and... So as you can see, this radio will get really loud output, which is also another nice feature. This is another, this is the uh, VHF side of the uh, downtown repeater. Really 
So, uh, I mean, the receiver is crystal clear, uh, gets a very good reception, and um, this radio uh, will uh, operate from 136 to 150 megahertz, I think. So, uh, and then from, uh, I, think, I believe it's 430 to 480 megahertz, or something like that. Uh, something in that range. So uh, you'll also be able to pick up uh, some police radio, a fire radio, emergency. Um, you'll be able to receive on there. And uh, but uh, keep in mind that uh, this radio will also transmit on those frequencies. So uh, just be careful with that. Um, not to transmit on a on a frequency that you're not licensed to transmit on. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, this radio is uh, is very solid for the price and uh i would definitely recommend it um it's not going to have as many features as uh as a yezu or a kenwood but uh i mean it's uh, an unbeatable price uh so just let me know what you think in comments uh, like this video uh uh just tell me oh and also uh, i'll tell you about the uh, programming uh, the programming connector actually plugs into both and uh you can get a usb or serial uh, programming cable, and I got one with it, I got a USB cable with it, and, uh, it makes programming this radio way easier, I mean, way easier, and, uh, you can also put alpha tags in, in there, uh, as you saw on the, on the operation, you can put alpha tags in there, uh, to, uh, but you can only do that through the computer, you can't actually do that, uh, through the radio, so, if you want alpha tags, you'll need a programming cable, but, uh, again, like I said, it just makes it way easier to program anyways with the programming cable. So I would recommend getting that with the radio. And uh, just let me know in comments if you want to see anything else, uh, any other operations of this radio. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll post uh, another video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is KF5PBR73s.